Hello everyone! In this video, Mars will collide with Earth. You'll see a massive cosmic collision and find out what consequences await our planet, all using the Simulator Universe sandbox. Let's get started! Right now, you're seeing Mars approaching Earth. Both planets are in motion, as you can see, and the collision is about to begin. Mars is going to crash into the Pacific Ocean. The collision has begun. Oh, clouds have already appeared on Mars. Well, that's just how the simulator works. And there goes the shockwave. Focusing on Earth, let's see what the maximum temperature is at the impact site. It's already reached almost 4000 degrees Celsius. And some incredible things are happening on Earth. Whoa, let me hide the atmosphere and clouds. And let's even zoom in. And here's what's happening. We can see the oceans evaporating, all the bodies of water. Life at the impact site vanished instantly, of course. The maximum temperature has already surpassed 4000 degrees, and the planet's average is already 500 degrees. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see what's happening here. You could say that a scorching tsunami wave is sweeping across the Earth, incinerating absolutely everything in its path. You can clearly see life just disappearing. On the opposite side of the planet, everything is still normal for now, but the shock wave has even reached here, and in South America, all life is just disappearing trees and everything else and then comes the next wave a wall of water that floods everything yep a huge tsunami and after it this massive red hot area and at the epicenter of the collision the temperature is already 6600 degrees well we can see the temperature is starting to drop meaning our planet is beginning to cool down a little and of course a lot of fragments were ejected into space i'm speeding up time watch how this all plays out Obviously, some of the fragments will eventually fall back down to Earth, while some of them will fly away into space for good. And if we let this process go on, we can see this enormous expanding cloud of dust, gas and rock fragments forming in the aftermath. And of course, Earth completely transforms into a molten sphere. The atmosphere and clouds are all hidden, and you can't see anything on the surface anymore. Earth is truly, completely molten. See, I have everything turned off here. If I turn all the visuals back on, then of course, this is what it looks like. And let's see what's happening with Earth now. Time is passing at 20 hours per second. Earth is cooling. You can see the temperature parameters here. The temperature is the same across the entire planet. Earth has acquired a strange atmosphere. Let me hide the atmosphere and clouds. It's completely molten. I'll speed up time even more. And with about a month passing per second, we can see the full process of our planet cooling. And overall, there's no liquid anywhere at the moment. Although, on this side, where the Pacific Ocean was, liquid is already starting to appear. And the temperature is dropping and dropping. Another 20 years or so have passed, and the average temperature on Earth has settled at 150 degrees Celsius. The minimum temperature is 43.3 degrees, and the maximum, at the equator I assume, is 169 degrees. And this is what our Earth looks like now. If we zoom out, we can see there's this sort of diffuse gas cloud. It completely envelops the planet from all sides. But if we zoom out even further, there's a whole lot of gas here. Almost the entire solar system got these gases from the collision. Wow. Well, let me hide the atmosphere and clouds and take a closer look at the surface. In this part, there's no vegetation anywhere. There's some kind of process happening here, you see? It's like something is spreading. It's not clear what it is. But on this side, where Mars collided with Earth, it's like a giant crater formed, and everything in this area was flooded. And as we can see, there's no life anywhere on the surface of the Earth. And here, something strange starts to happen. I'll slow down time, and immediately everything starts working like this. The simulator shows that the probability of life on Earth is almost zero. The magnetosphere, by the way, has remained, and I'm looking at the atmospheric composition, and there's been a sharp increase in water vapor, and especially nitrogen, an incredible amount, and oxygen, as much as 10 Earth atmospheres, wow. Where did so much oxygen come from? Could it be from Mars? Let me know in the comments. And the atmosphere, its pressure is 5,635 atmospheres, that's something else. If we look at the mass, it has only increased by 6%, and and the radius by only 2%. The Earth's axial tilt has shifted by about 1 degree, becoming smaller, and the day on Earth has shortened and is now almost 21 hours. But the year on our planet has barely changed. If we look at Earth's orbit around the Sun, in principle, it hasn't changed much. And after the collision between Earth and Mars, as we can see, besides this dust cloud, there are many asteroids that are now in stable orbits rotating around the Sun. And eventually, sooner or later, some of them will fall onto either Mercury, Venus or Earth. 
Guys, I decided to make today's video in a new format, using a voiceover. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see this format going forward and in future videos, and if you'd like to see other types of content for this simulator, not just collisions. For example, what if another star replaced the sun, terraforming planets and so on. I'm really looking forward to your opinion. If you want, videos on the channel will come out even more often. Thanks a lot for watching, and until we meet again in the universe.